Hello, and thank you for your interest in this course. PyQt 5 is a Python package that allows you to develop stunning graphical user interface in Python. Most people know my courses on open source GIS applications and programming. This course is different. There's no GIS involved. It's pure Python, so I could reach a larger audience. But you can use PyQt 5 to develop graphical user interfaces to applications that you developed using my other Python courses for GIS. So that your users can simply click a button or select a file from your operating system's standard file dialog and build very professional looking user interfaces for your programs. And PyQt5 is essential to developing QGIS plugins because QGIS itself was written using the Qt framework. And since my next course is going to be on QGIS plugin development, I decided to start with a course on PyQt5 that may have more general interest. In this course, you will learn all the important Qt widgets and their helper classes. I want to say all of them, but there are hundreds, and I had to stop somewhere. But I do cover the most important ones, in addition to buttons and edit boxes and simple things like that. You'll learn about lists and images and hierarchical trees and tables and creating interactive charts as well. You'll learn about organizing your interface with layouts so that they position themselves and adjust the size appropriately when the user resizes the form. You'll learn to create GUIs visually the easy way using Qt Designer. And you'll learn to build really professional-looking multi-dialog applications, complete with menus and toolbars and status bars and user-adjustable panels, and basically all of the features that users have come to expect in modern software. You'll also learn to style your application with cute style sheets so that you can have a consistent look across all the dialogues in your application and even across multiple applications. And PyQt5 is about more than just building graphical interfaces. You'll learn how to connect to a database and populate data widgets with modern model view controller architecture using the Qt SQL module. And you'll learn how to use threading to keep your user interface responsive while time consuming tasks are running in the background using the Qt thread module and a whole lot more, including packaging your application for distribution to other users, and including images and things as resources. So if this sounds appealing to you, this course is available now on udemy.com. The name of the course is PyQt5 from A to Z, and I believe it's the most thorough course available on PyQt5 programming right now. I know for a fact that it's the most up-to-date as of the end of August 2020 because I just published it. And as a special introductory offer, this course is available until September 1st, 2020 for only $9.99 and it may actually be less in your country because Udemy automatically adjusts the price depending on where you live. It currently has over 13 hours of content and more is coming over the next month, probably four or five hours more.